you think? Hey, uh, how's it going? Uh, good morning, or good afternoon, actually. It's my lunch break. It's uh, Tuesday, September 17, 2019. And uh, this week has just been a weird, weird, weird week. So today's Tuesday. I was supposed to work from home yesterday and today. I uh, got everything set up yesterday at home and got called into work for an emergency. Um... I ended up leaving work probably about 1 o'clock yesterday, just in time to make it to mediation, the mediation appointment. Um, yesterday morning, when I walked out of the house, I got stung by a hornet, of all things. Um, while I was at mediation, or after mediation, I realized I lost my flashlight, like the one that I've had for five or six years. Um, I called the office, the, the lawyer's office, and they actually had it. They found it. It was on the floor or something. It, fall, it fell out of my work pants or my dress pants pocket. Um, then um, today, like I said, I was supposed to work from home today because Grant had a half day today. He gets out at 11.50. Um, I got called in to work today again for the same issue they were working on since yesterday so they're still working on it they've been working on it since almost 9 a.m. and it's it's almost 2 o'clock so it's just been like just a shit show I wanted to get off of work early or get out of work early to go not only spend more time with Grant but also get the grass cut today uh, I'm going over by Dickie's tomorrow night we're gonna go shopping I need some clothes um, we're gonna go get uh, goodie bags for Grant's birthday party and all that stuff and uh, now we're not going to have a chance to do any of that. Uh, so I'm just like frustrated. I sold a bunch of um, uh, hardware and stuff on eBay. So I've been working on that. I was supposed to swap out some stuff today. And I'm not going to be home to do that until later. So that sucks. And now i got to figure out how to bag and ship all this stuff probably. Um, so it's just like everything's just kind of just... Not going to plan. Let's just put it that way. You know, I was thinking about all the different stuff. Yesterday was mediation, by the way. Um, this mediation was for the winter break. Um, mainly, her and I both wanted the first week in January. So, um, we ended up coming to an agreement on three items. So, um, we have a 72 hour response time for questions or requests so if she asks me something I have to respond within 72 hours or request for more time to find out further information um, then we also agreed to a fixed winter break schedule from here on out and we also agreed to use a an app for our communications called Parenting Time or something, or Talking Time, or I don't know what the fuck it's called. So, um, yeah. But, um, you know, yesterday during mediation, she brought up the fact that I went to, went on vacation to Hawaii with a girlfriend. And she's using that against me. She said, well, you're saying you're going to be out of vacation time to spend with Grant, um, but uh, you're able to go on a vacation with a girlfriend, not, you know, on a vacation without Grant. She's like, you didn't even take any time this summer for Grant or with Grant. And I said, well, that's because I don't have days to take. So, um, even the mediator was kind of siding with her and saying, yeah, that's not going to look good or whatever if you're complaining that you're going to be out of days by the end of the year, but you um, took a week vacation to go to Hawaii with a girlfriend. I was like, wow, you know, you, you ever get into, like, one of those arguments where, like, you think of, like, things, ways, ways to say things a lot better or differently after the fact? You know, we were bickering and going back and forth and stuff, and at one point, Grant's mom said something like, you know, you need to, we, we need to be adults here, or something like that. And, uh, I wanted to... You know, I, I, I kind of really wish that I would have said to her, like, you know, just because you're good at um, adulthood 
doesn't make you a good adult. Or, I'm sorry, just because you're good at adultery doesn't make you a good adult. I find it very, very interesting that during the divorce process, I live in Illinois, but I could not use the fact that she uh, had committed adultery. I could not use her infidelity against her or any of that. Illinois doesn't consider that a, a, an issue or a, a thing or whatever. Um, so I couldn't use or bring up any of that. So, and this is while married with a child. So I couldn't use any of that against her. But they're, they're going to be able to use the, the fact that I went on a vacation with a girlfriend while having um, babysitting time or whatever you want to call it covered. They, they're going to use that against me. Blows my fucking mind. I've talked about this relatively recently, probably in the last month or so, but today I'm really, really struggling with the idea of marrying someone. If you can, ha if you can be married and fuck around with whoever you want all the time, whatever, what with a child, and none of that can be used against you, and not only that, but you can basically dissolve that marriage. I mean, yes, we use lawyers and all that, and it costs money, but you can dissolve a marriage with little to no consequences. What is the point of being married? I mean, outside of, you know, like... It, I guess the marriage gained me a better ability to have 50-50 time with my child, maybe. But outside of that, like, you could have a kid with somebody and not be married. All right, Here, here's my thought. And uh, changed my mind. But you, my, my thought is, does marriage basically entitle someone else to half of the other person's shit? And that's it? So if you're not married, they're not entitled to half of your shit. Like, why wouldn't you just have a, a child with a person and just wing it at that point? You know, split everything 50-50 and then that's it. I guess marriage is good for benefits, health care, stuff like that, I suppose. I don't know. I think you get a discount. I don't know. I'm not, I'm not seeing an advantage anymore to marriage. Really am not. That's, that fucking sucks. It sucks for anyone that I'm with, anyone that I have been with. And maybe it's not fair to them or whatever, but... Marriage opens up half of your retirement earnings to them. They don't have to do a fucking thing. They just have to show up to their job, which means their relationship. They just, they just have to stay married to you. And they're entitled to half of your retirement during the marriage. They can sit on their ass for seven years straight, not work a single day, and they're entitled to half of your retirement. If you're not married, they're not going to be entitled to anything. If you're not married, they're not going to get half of your assets. It's fucked up. Some piece of shit could literally marry you, fuck around behind your back the entire marriage, 
and then get free shit for doing so. No punishment, no legal recourse, no accountability, none of that. Free meal ticket. That's what I'm struggling with today, is just this realization that all of, like, these these foundational moral pillars that I've, that I've upheld and thought were so sacred and monumental and, and important don't mean shit. I'm so, like, emotionally numb. Grant's mom wants to revisit our visitation agreement and all of that just because she doesn't want to spend two or three hundred dollars a month or whatever it is on daycare expenses. She's mad because I'm upholding or I'm holding her to our, our previous agreement. She's mad about that. She feels like she has no right to have to contribute financially to our son. It is so, so fucked up. I can't even fathom any of this stuff. And that's, that's another huge piece of the puzzle as in terms of, like, my comprehension of this. Like, why would I want to have another kid with somebody else? I know my situation is not typical, but god damn it, dude. What the fuck? This is somebody I loved with my heart and my soul. I did everything to make her happy. Married her. Said the vows. Got married in a Catholic church. All of that shit carried her, carried her for years while she tried to sort out her career and all that shit. And now she's got a fucking stay at home job. So she gets to see Grant all the time. Grant gets on and off the bus at her house and I don't get shit. I'm here stuck at fucking work every goddamn day. Somebody else gets to take care of him for before and after care. He has no chance of ever riding the, the bus to and from my house. Let's be adults here in regards to this, she said yesterday. She was fucking my best friend while I was out of state working to support us, to support our family. She was inviting him into our house when my son was asleep or our son was asleep while I was away and then lying about it. Everyone is just like, dude, let it go. Just move on or whatever. I cannot fucking let that go. Because there's not a legal goddamn thing I can do about it. Spent tens of thousands of dollars just to get 50-50. And everyone said, be happy with what you got. Fuck that. The whole concept or the whole notion of fair and that's fair or this should be fair or all I want is what's fair goes out the complete it goes completely out the window.
I agreed to pay, I don't even know how many years it was, like three years extra money for daycare expenses to make things easier for her. Once he went into school, I believe it was once he went into kindergarten, that was when that special arrangement where I paid a lot more money ended. When that ended, she has to start contributing her portion towards daycare expenses. Once kindergarten ended and she started to have to pay more potentially or whatever, she didn't want to. And I said, uh, well, you kind of agreed to do this. I'm not sure where you thought you wouldn't have to. She's like, well, I'm not, he's not in daycare on my days. I'm like, he's still in daycare, still primary care, before and after care and all that stuff, summer camp. Well, but I don't need it on my days. I'm like, oh, okay, so you got me to, uh, you, you know, I agreed to pay more until a certain date. Then when it was your time to step up, you want to take me to court over it and bicker and fight about it. 